uh hi guys uh, uh today uh, i'm going to discuss uh, the nutanix community edition and we will see how we can uh, set up the single node uh, nutanix cluster in vmware workstation uh so first of all uh, what is uh, nutanix community edition uh nutanix community edition is the free version of uh, nutanix os which can be used to test drive the main feature of nutanix it can be deployed on uh, existing hardware in your existing infrastructure or uh, in the uh, or in a virtual machine uh, in your virtual infrastructure so uh, what is the main component of uh, nutanix ce uh, first of all uh, ahv uh, acropolis hypervisor uh, nutanix uh, prism which is the nutanix management plane uh, ncli uh, which is um, the Nutanix uh, um, CLI prompt or, um, and the single uh, or you can create a single or multi node uh, cluster. Um, what, are, uh, what are the limitation of Nutanix E? Uh, the internet access is required on the cluster. Uh, Nutanix next account uh, is required for the activation and uh, uh, it should be upgraded within the 30 days or uh, once the upgrade is available for the version. Okay, uh, let's jump to the lab. Uh, so first of all, what we, uh, we will do, uh, we'll download the Nutanix uh, uh, Community Edition. So how we can download it? Uh, first of, uh, you have to log in on the my.nutanix.com. You can see uh, the Community Edition tab is available on the portal. I'll just launch uh, the web page. Uh, so uh, there are two modes uh, uh, of Nutanix Community Edition available, installation available. One is the install installer ISO, or the second one is uh, which is purely from the old version, the disk based uh, version. So today, uh, uh, what I am going to discuss is basically how we can install the C from the ISO. So I'll just download the. Uh, uh, the Nutanix C uh, ISO. So once the download is complete, uh, we'll proceed with the. I already uh, downloaded the version, so you guys can download it from the same version. I'll uh, share the I, uh, download link uh, in my description. Okay, so let's start with the VM creation. Uh, what I am going to do is I'll create a new VM in the VM VMware workstation. Uh, so rest of the things are straightforward. Uh, I just create uh, the VM with the CentOS 64-bit. Uh, uh, I'll name this one as uh, Nutanix CE. Okay, I'll save it in D drive my Okay. Uh so i'll give here 100 gig so and click finish so vm is created before powering on i'll just edit the virtual machine i'll give the virtual machine memory to uh, 24 gig uh, change the processors to uh, 8 cores and then uh, enable the virtualization. Uh, this is required for the nesting, uh, nested uh, uh, virtualization. Uh, so we have to add additional two disks here. Uh, so I'll add one more disk, which is uh, 250 gig. And uh, another one. I'll make it as 300 gig. So basically, uh, first disk is for the hypervisor. The second disk is required for the CVM, and the third disk is for 
uh, for the data so i'll uh, uh, proceed with the nat setting only uh, before proceeding i'll just mount the iso in the vm browse okay i'll just power on the vm Okay, installer is booted. Uh, we have two options available. Uh, we can either go with the AHV, uh, which is uh, which is already bundled with the installer, or we can go with the ESXi. Uh, in this case, uh, we have to provide the ISO uh, separately. Uh, as uh, uh, I'm going to uh, currently, I'm going to proceed with the AHV as a hypervisor the second option is uh, the disk you can see here uh, the first disk uh, uh, it's already uh, uh, system selected as a hypervisor the second disk uh, it goes for the data and third one is for the cvm uh, what i'm going to do is i'm just uh, going to change the second disk as a, for the cvm the third disk for the data okay the next uh, option is to provide the host ip address hypervisor ip address and the cvm ip address so i'll put uh, my lab uh, uh, details the ip detail okay mm, 255 one CVM IP address is 102.0.192.192.1 Here is the direct option is available to create a single node cluster. In case uh, if you want to create a single uh, cluster later on, uh, we can do it from uh, CLI, but as of now, uh, I'll do it. Uh, I'll create a cluster right away. Uh, here I'll provide the DNS server name and click next. Okay. Uh, here is the license agreement. Uh, we have to scroll down. Um, and accept the agreement and uh, enter start to start the installation okay enter start so the installation is started uh, the install uh, normally take approximately half an hour uh what i can do is i'll uh, uh, pause the video will continue uh, once the installation is completed okay uh installation is completed uh now uh we can reboot uh, the vm um uh, before that one we can uh we have to unplug the media so what I can do is I'll just unplug uh, the media, ISO media, okay, connected, and reboot. Yes. Okay. You can see uh, the VM is booting from the EHV okay uh, uh, before uh, moving forward uh, just uh, the point to be noted here uh, these so uh, the console is opening I'll log in the default credentials
update the password Okay, uh, you can see here, it's asking for the next credential. Okay, you can see here, the cluster is created. I'll just uh, name the cluster my okay uh, what will be the cluster virtual IP okay NTP servers not specified. So let me do the basic setup. Uh, NTP server. Okay, it's there. So with this one, uh, we have uh, uh, done with the basic uh, Nutanix cluster setup. You can see uh, the cluster is up. Uh, you can see here, uh, as of now, there is no VM. Uh, only uh, CVM is there. You can see here. And uh, that's it. We'll continue with the remaining in the next uh, topic. Thank you. Thank you for watching.